Good evening from London. A mix of reopening jitters and worries over the COVID third wave dogged sentiment in London today, with just a handful of UK blue chips trading in positive territory. Business confidence in the square mile has been lifted, however, following yesterday's announcement from Prime Minister Boris Johnson that confirmed all restrictions in England will be lifted on July the 19th. From this date, mask wearing will no longer be compulsory and the work from home guidance will be scrapped. Sainsbury's has raised its profit forecast and expects to generate £660 million pounds this fiscal year, up from a previous forecast of £620 million. In a trading update this morning, the group reported better-than-expected sales of groceries, clothing and general merchandise for the 16 weeks to the end of June, rising 1.6%. The figure has been well received, as during the same period last year, sales soared as customers stockpiled at the start of the pandemic. The revised upward growth projection has underlined the bullish trends for UK supermarkets that has been a focus of private equity bidders. In line with government guidelines, the retailer's chief executive, Simon Roberts, said customers will no longer need to wear masks in stores from July the 19th. The breakdown of talks between OPEC and other key crude nations has extended oil price gains across the world. At one point, a barrel of Brent crude rose above $77 for the first time since 2018. Yesterday, the OPEC Plus group cancelled a planned meeting that was supposed to discuss how to lift output. No new date has been set, adding further uncertainty to the oil market. According to a report, the popular ride-hailing app Didi was warned by China's regulators not to go ahead with its $4.4 billion New York IPO due to security concerns, a warning the company chose to ignore. On Sunday, the service was banned from app stores by the Cyberspace Administration of China and is now facing a probe of unspecified national security issues that has been tied to the firm illegally collecting users' personal data. The industry giant, dubbed China's Uber, has more than 15 million drivers serving nearly half a billion users. Its listing last week was one of the biggest American stock market debut for a decade. Bosses say the sanction will have an adverse impact on its revenue, adding that it will strive to rectify any problems and will protect users' privacy and data security. Those are your main stories from London at close of business.